about my education, which is so important here in Iraq because we faced a lot of war and there's a lot of my in our country. Uh, before we start, I just want to mention that there is a fire extinguisher here because of the door and the water facilitator is here before the beside the elevator. And if you need anything, just tell me. I'm feel free for asking any questions. Uh, does everyone looking good with the temperature? Is it good? Yes. Yeah, yeah. so okay. Is it clear? Could anyone yes. everyone see it? Yeah. Okay. Our presentation is presentation is about my risk education. Uh, does anyone get information about it before? Yes. Okay, could you tell us what is the mine? Mine is uh, when a uh, conflict happens in any area, uh, military, military groups or uh, military forces sometimes use the mines in the military area, in the conflict area. And uh, after the conflict or after the war, they left. They left many of these mines in the ground. Okay. And in the area. Thank you. Well, our objective today is to know the different kinds of mines and the exclusion ways. The other point is in my detail and in human and vehicles and mines area and size. There's different kinds for it and how to protect yourself if you face a mine or if you being in a mine field. We have different topics. The first thing is definition of mine and current contamination in Iraq. Uh, mine identification and mine indicators, mine effect, <coughs> and if you find yourself in the mine cell, and what will be the action. Definition of mine. Mine is a kind of weapon. It's used to kill or disable people by amputating their hands or legs. It comes with different size and different colors and it could be put it on the ground or under the ground. Does anyone have information about contamination in Iraq or where the mine could be seen in Iraq? No? Okay. Here we have a map for information management mine action. The, you see along with the border of Iraq between us and Iran and due to the war in 1980 and they put a lot of mine in the north and in the south of Iraq along with the border and in the southern part of Iraq. Okay, in Kurdistan, there is a, a mine on the border between Kurdistan and Iran and Kurdistan and Turkey due to the different conflicts between them. What does that mean in numbers? 2,142 minefields have been identified in Kurdistan, covering an area of <coughs> 129 9 kilometers, 6 kilometers, and 1,265 suspected areas. It's, it's suspected to be there's a mine in that area. I cover it an area of 169 kilometers, 6 kilometers. Total contamination in Kurdistan is large number, and in Iraq, there is 1,295 kilometer mine and 208 kilometer identified cluster strike. The total number is 3,340, which is covering a lot, a large area, preventing them for doing their jobs or going in that area. Mine and identification. There's two type of mines. There's anti-personal and anti-tank. Blast 
the kind of antipersonal or radiation is two types and antitype is the blast and of root. Here we have some acronyms. We may need need them and you will use them in our presentation.
my action. Let's go to informal, yeah, it could be by people. Formal, we have skull and the cross bone with red. Why they are using red color? No. Uh -huh. Okay. Because you can see it from very far away. Yeah, great. Yeah. The red color is you can see it from far away and it will be clear in different areas, like if it is snow or it's a green land or it's fire, it will be seen. This is a different kind of mice or warning tape. Informal, it will be put by stones. By people when they are seeing why they are putting any kind of this size to refer that there is a mine here to avoid that area. Okay, here. Does anyone see any kind of these signs before? Yes. Formal, informal? No. Uh, informal, like stones. Okay. You see it after the military operation finished without to Hamar. <coughs> to avoid the area or not? No, we walk in the car. We see it from around the distance. Great. But uh, the security refer to us, uh, you see this uh, stones that refer to a mine or something that job. Okay, you should always avoid the area whenever you see any kind of the signs. There's a human or animal remains like that. This refers to there is a mine, or you need to suspect that there is a mine if you see any kind of those signs. Yeah. A military equipment. We have a lot of this here in Iraq. Yeah. We have to avoid this area or unused or abandoned agriculture like this. You, you don't know what there is between those trees, so you need to avoid it. Abandoned buildings. We also have a lot of buildings here I collapsed due to the war. What's the effect? Did anyone tell me what the effect of mine? Yeah. Whenever it's exploded? Diamond injury, broken. Yes. Yes. Whenever somebody put their legs or the mine exploded, it will <coughs> did not kill him, it will be cutting their legs or arms or their body or their eyes or arms. So it's very, very dangerous. And this is the effect of mine. It will disable people if it not kill them. Against vehicle, of course, it will destroy any vehicle that will be excluded on it. Any question? Clear? Yeah, yeah. What you will do if you find yourself in the minefield? On foot, there is two kinds if you are using a vehicle and if you are walking in the minefield. For walking, what will you do? Please. <laughs> and if it not count? Waiting. Okay. Any other idea? Okay. Stop, as you said. One other, if you are not alone, you need to one other because we see that there is covering like the fragmentation is for 250 meters. And remain calm because whenever you see one mine, that means that you are in the minefield. If possible, wait for help, as you said. But there is, if there is no one help, or no one there, yeah. in the same for sure. steps. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Use the same steps to get back and move one at a time, not be much of a help. Maintain 25 meters between each other 
between each other to, to have a safe space and to reduce the victims. Clear? Yeah? yeah. In the vehicle, what you will do? Stop the car. Uh -huh. And also to uh, reform another class in the convoy. convoy. Okay. And then if you want to leave the place, you can go back through uh, the tire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jumping from the roof to the end of the car and uh, walking, uh, walking, sorry, on the tire uh, yeah. place. Yeah, the same place. Great. As you Great. said, is it vehicle under the roof or planted? Wait for help. If there is no help, look for vehicle tracks. And exit area using vehicle tracks. The same area that you use it for your vehicle because it will be the same, same area to, to move. Okay? Yeah. Clear? Yes, and last resort, look, feel, court, move. Never, never, ever touch a mine. Always remember, marking of minefield is the exception, not the rule. You are not forced to put like a sign in the minefield because you may cause exclusion on yourself. While some mines are visible, must Alan, you may see a mine, because we said whenever you see one mine, that means you are in the minefield. Some mines are visible, some are underground, you are not seeing them. If it isn't essential, don't go. If you are concerned, withdraw. If you have any suspected area, do not go to that suspected area. Any question? Any question? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay, thanks for your coming. But before you are leaving, we have a feedback from you about our presentation. Could you please just read it and get it back to me?